Hi friends, once again welcome to Rankers Hub. Now today in this video we are going to learn how to solve the questions in the chapter time and work in a very simple way. Now we can answer the questions in this chapter in a very simple way if we can understand the question in a very simple way. Now before we solve this question let us learn a small basic point that we are going to use to solve such type of questions in time and work that is if suppose I say A can complete a work in 24 days how much work will he do in one day now this is a question it's a small basic question a can complete a work in 24 days. How much part of the work will he do in one day? We know that it is 1 by 24. Now why it is 1 by 24? Why it is not 2 by 24 or 3 by 24? Because generally in time and work, we will be assume mean the total work as 1 or 100%. So using this simple basic point, and understanding the question correctly, we will be able to answer the questions in a simple way. Now, let us solve the first question. A can complete a work in 20 days and B can complete the same work in 32 days. Now, this is the initial information about A and B separately. B started the work alone and after few days, A joined him to help him complete the work. After how many days did A join if the work is completed in 24 days? Now many students they try to answer this question by using a variable and they take lot of time to solve this particular problem. Now how can we solve this, partic this particular problem in a very simple way in two steps not taking more than two steps. Now see here. Now let's try to understand. Now who started the work? B started the work. After few days who joined? A joined. So after few days A and B are working together till the work is completed and he is clearly saying that the total work is completed in 24 days. Now who is the person who is working from first day till last day? So definitely B is the person who is working from first day till last day. So what is the work done by B in one day? B can complete the total work in 32 days. So his one day work should be 1 by 32 that is one part out of 32 parts. Now he is the person who was working from first day till last day and it is given that the total work is completed in 24 days. So how much work will B do in that 24 days? So it should be 24 by 32. So it's 8 threes, 8 fours. It's 3 by 4. So in all the 24 days, B has done 3 fourth of the work. But we, we are assuming that the total work is 1. So who is the person who did the other work? So definitely the remaining work is done by A. So A did the remaining part which is 1 minus 3 by 4 that is 1 by 4. So to do total work, A actually takes 20 days but A is doing only one fourth of the work. So how many days he need to work? So one fourth of 20, four ones, four fives. So A worked for five days, but which five days? A was not there from the beginning. Question is after how many days did A join? A worked for only five days, but which five days? The last five days in 24 days. So after how many days did A join? Our answer is 24 minus five, 19 days. So if you can understand the question clearly, we can answer this type of questions in a very simple way by using this method. If you have any doubts related to any question in any of our videos, please comment. And for more videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel Rankers Hub. Now let us look into the second question. A started a work and completed 30% of the work in 10 days. If he completes the remaining work with the help of B in 15 days, then in how many days will B alone complete the total work? Now here our values are given in percentage. So we can assume the total work is 100%. Now how should we think to answer this question in a very simple way? Now here. 
A, he started a work and he completed 30% of the work in 10 days. So, immediately our mind should say that A in one day will be doing 3%, 30 by 10. 3%. So, A in one day will be doing 3% of the work. If he completes, now who is this he? He is nothing but A. If A completes the remaining work with the help of B. So, the remaining work is completed with the help of B in 15 days. So, the total work we can see here clearly, the total work is completed in 25 days. Now, who is the person who is working for all 25 days? Definitely it is A. A worked initially for 10 days working alone and later on he worked for 15 days along with B. So A worked for 25 days and B worked for 15 days. Now we know that A in one day will be doing 3% but A worked totally for 25 days. So definitely in that 25 days he will be doing how much percent? One day 3%, 25 days. 25 into 3 that is 75%. So A in all these 25 days has done 75% of the work but in this 25 days work should be completed. So who is the person definitely who did the other work? Obviously it is B because B worked for 15 days. So B in that 15 days obviously did the remaining part that is 25%. So, B in 15 days will be doing 25%. But our question is, B will alone will complete the total work in how many days? When I say total work, it should be 100%. So, to do 25% of the work, B takes 15 days to do 100%. How many days will he take? Clearly here, 25 fourths. So, work is 4 times. Obviously, time also should be 4 times. So, 15 fourths are 60 days. So, B alone will complete the total work in 60 days. Now, let us see the third question. 20 men working together can complete a work in 30 days. All started the work together, but after few days, 5 men quit. The question is, after how many days did 5 men quit? If it took 5 more days to complete the work than the actual time. Now, how to answer this particular question in a very simple way? Thinking it generally. Now here, I think like this. If you look carefully, 20 men working together can complete a work in 30 days. So initially there are 20 men. Each person should, work, should be working for 30 days. Then the work will be completed in 30 days. The question is, all started the work together, but after few days, now, I do not know after how many days. After few days, five men quit. After how many days did five men quit? If it took five more days to complete the work than the actual time. So, how many men are working from first day till last day? That is the first point. Five men left in between. Totally, there are 20 men. Five men left in between. So, 15 men. The other 15 men, they are working from first day till last day. Last day in sense for how many days? Actually, the work should be completed in 30 days. Because these 5 men quit, it took 5 more days to complete the work than the actual time. That means, these 15 men are working for all 35 days to complete the work. Now, I think like this, generally. Now, what is the work they are doing? Let us assume their work is to eat chocolates. Let us assume each man should eat one chocolate per day. That is their work. So, how many men are there? Totally, there are 20 men. 20 men in one day will be eating 20 chocolates. According to our assumption, one man should eat one chocolate per day. So, 20 men in one day will be eating 20 chocolates. They can complete the total work in 30 days. So, the total work obviously should be 20 into 30. That is, to eat 600 chocolates. So, their total work we can assume as to eat 600 chocolates. Now, how many men are working from first day till last day? 15 men. 15 men are working for how many days? 15 men are working for 35 days, 5 more days. So, 15 men in 35 days will eat how many chocolates? So, it is 15 into 35. So, 15 fives are 
सेवेंटी फाइव सेवन इज ए कैरी फिफ्टीन थ्री इज आर फोर्टी फाइव प्लस सेवन फिफ्टी टू सो दीज फिफ्टीन मैन इन ऑल दीज थर्टी फाइव डेज हैव एट एंड फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव चॉकलेट्स बट इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन इन थर्टी फाइव डेज वर्क इज कंप्लीटेड दैट मीन्स ऑल दीज सिक्स हंड्रेड चॉकलेट्स आर कंप्लीटेड but these 15 men have eaten only 525 chocolates so who are those who have eaten the other 75 chocolates 600 minus 525 that is 75 definitely these 75 chocolates are eaten by the five men who left in between five men in one day will be eating five chocolates to eat 75 chocolates how many days did they work so our answer will be 75 by 5 75 by 5 is 15 days so the five men who quit in between have worked for 15 days so you thinking like this you can it will help you to answer the question in a very simple way now let us see the fourth question now this is a question based on efficiency a is twice as efficient as b and b is thrice as efficient as c if a b and c working together can complete a work in 21 days then in how many days will a and c together complete the same work now let us try to answer this question in a very simple way but before that let us try to understand what is the meaning of a is twice as efficient as b now when i say a is twice as efficient as b it means that in a given time a does twice the work done by b in a given time a does twice the work done by b in the same way b is thrice as efficient as c so in a given time b does thrice the work done by c now how to answer this question in a simple way using the concept called chocolates let us try to answer this question by chocolates itself suppose i say that c will eat one chocolate per day if c eats one chocolate per day b who is thrice as efficient as c should be eating three chocolates per day he should be doing three times the work done by c now a who is twice as efficient as b should be eating how many chocolates two times that of b that is a should be eating six chocolates per day once again let me explain if i assume c eats one chocolate per day b will be eating three chocolates because b is thrice as efficient as c and a will be eating six chocolates because a is twice as efficient as b now together a b and c together will eat how many chocolates per day six plus three nine plus one together they will be eating 10 chocolates per day and together they can complete the work in 21 days so the total work here should be to eat 210 chocolates now the question is in how many days will a and c together complete the same work now the total work is to eat 210 chocolates which should be now completed by a and c a per day will eat 6 chocolates C per day will eat one chocolate. So together per day will eat seven chocolates. To complete the total work, it means to complete two hundred and ten chocolates. How many days will they take? Two hundred and ten by seven. So the answer is thirty days. Seven threes are twenty one. So the answer is thirty days. So if you can think like this in a very simple way, solving problems in time and work will become very easy. Now let us see the fifth question. A started a work and left after eight days, and then B completes the remaining work in fourteen days. Had A worked for nine days and left, then B will complete the remaining work in twelve days. In how many days will the work be completed if both A and B work together? Now, first of all, let us write down what is given to us. now there are two persons a and b they are not working together initially a will start the work he leaves then b enters and he completes the remaining work now in the first statement it is given that a started the work and he left after 8 days now we do not know how much work did a do in this 8 days he left and then b entered he completed the remaining work in 14 days 
so after that 14 days work is completed now the next statement had a worked for now had it's a conditional statement had a worked for 9 days okavela a 9 days pani cheste had a worked for 9 days and left then b will complete the remaining work in 12 days had a worked for 9 days and left the remaining work will be completed by b in 12 days now this is given to us now the question is if both a and b work together in how many days will the work be completed now let me uh, ask a small question let's suppose i started a work i worked for five days i left you entered you worked for five days work is completed if suppose we both work together in how many days will the work be completed now this is one way of thinking to answer this particular question once again i repeat i started a work i worked for five days i left you entered you completed the remaining work in five days same five days if suppose we both work together in how many days will the total work be completed so obviously it should be five days the same logic if i apply here a he worked for eight days he left and then b entered he worked for 14 days work is completed had a work for nine days then b will complete the remaining work in 12 days so if you think logically here what happened to the two days work of b actually b should work for 14 days but here he is working only for 12 days what happened to his two days work his two days work is done by a in this extra one day so the point is whatever the work a does in one day b will take two days so if i say like this now for this particular problem how can i answer this question in the next step itself suppose i say a worked for 10 days then how many days will b take to complete the remaining work so a has worked for one more day extra that means in that one day he is doing two days work of b so the remaining work will be done by b in 10 days because already two days work of b is done by a in this extra one day so a started the work he worked for 10 days he left and then b entered he completed the remaining work in 10 days so if they both work together in how many days will the work be completed so obviously our answer should be 10 days so the answer for this question is 10 days now for each and every question we may not get the logic like this so how to answer it in another way now here a work for eight days he left and then b completes the remaining work in 14 days had a work for nine days that is one day more b will complete the remaining work in 12 days that is two days less so what happened to this two days work of b it is done by a in one day so whatever the work a does in one day b will take two days so who is more efficient a how many times efficient than b twice so a is twice as efficient as b so when i say a is twice as efficient as b if i say b will eat one chocolate per day a should eat two chocolates per day if i say b eats one chocolate per day a should be eating two chocolates per day so now the total work a in this eight days will be eating eight into two 16 chocolates and b in this 14 days will be eating 14 into 1 14 chocolates that means the total work here is 16 plus 14 that is eating 30 chocolates so the total work is to eat 30 chocolates which should be now completed by a and b together now together they eat how many chocolates per day together they eat three chocolates per day so to eat 30 chocolates how many days will they take 30 by 3 it is 10 days so if you can think like this solving problems in time and work will become very simple thank you for watching for more videos subscribe to rankers hub thank you all for watching make sure you like share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications download the rankers hub app now for full courses